Hey guys, um, this is Cheetahs by National Geographic Kids. It's an independent reader book as well, like our last one. Let's get started. Cheetahs by Laura Marsh. It's a cheetah. What runs so fast it races by in a flash? What looks like it cries but has no tears in its eyes? What is covered in spots and lives where it's hot? It's a cheetah, and we're not lying. Cheetahs are large cats that look as cute and cuddly as a house cat, but you wouldn't want to snuggle up to a cheetah. Cheetahs are powerful hunters with sharp claws and teeth. Spotting cheetahs. Cheetahs and leopards look alike because they both have spots, but they are different in many ways. Cheetahs have tear marks. These are black stripes that run from their eyes to their mouths. Leopards don't have stripes on their faces. So it shows the differences between a cheetah and a leopard. Um, a cheetah is long and thin tail. Leopard is thick and short tail. A cheetah is narrow. A leopard is wide. A cheetah is small and a leopard is large as far as the head goes. Um, Safari Speedster. In a race between a lion, a greyhound dog, and a cheetah, which animal would win? The cheetah, hands down. The cheetah is the fastest land animal on earth. It can reach a running speed of 60 miles an hour in just three seconds. That's as fast as a sports car. What makes the cheetah so fast? Its body is built for speed. A long tail balances the cheetah when it makes sudden sharp turns. A flexible spine helps it change direction quickly. Long legs help it run fast. A thin lean body helps it move quickly. Excellent eyesight makes spotting prey quick and easy. Large nostrils let it breathe easily after running. A small head makes the cheetah lighter. Its deep chest makes breathing easier while running. Its claws don't completely pull back into its paws like other cats. The claws grip the ground when running like cleats on a shoe. Which cat should you never play cards with? A cheetah. Great hunters. Camouflage. Cheetahs are sneaky when they hunt. Their spotted coats act as camouflage in tall grass. They stalk their prey slowly and quietly. When they get close, cheetahs chase their prey. But cheetahs get tired quickly. Whew, they need to rest too. Stalk means to move secretly towards something. How cheetahs live. Most cheetahs live in Africa. A very small number may still live in Iran, a country in Asia. Like people, cheetahs can live in different habitats. Cheetahs live on the savanna and in areas with lots of plants. They also live on grasslands and in the mountains. But cheetahs can't live near crowded buildings. They need open space. So a habitat is the place where a plant or animal naturally lives, and a savanna is a grassy plain with few trees in a hot, dry area. No matter where they live, male cheetahs stick together. Brothers live in a group called a coalition. Female cheetahs live alone, except when caring for their cubs. Male and female cheetahs come together to have cubs, then they live apart again. Which side of the cheetah has the most spots? The outside. Cubs, look at the baby cheetahs. A mother cheetah has three to five cubs at, cubs at one time. They are born blind and helpless, but the cubs grow quickly. They can open their eyes and crawl in less than 10 days. The mother cheetah keeps the cubs safe in their den. If she needs to move, she carries them in her mouth. Can you find the cheetah cubs? The cubs' dark coats blend in with the shadows. The long, soft hair along their back looks like the dry, dead grass. The cubs are protected by camouflage. 
It's hard for predators to find them. On which day do cheetahs eat their prey? Tuesday. Playing around. The cubs learn a lot from their brothers and sisters. They wrestle, stalk, and chase one another. They practice skills they will need for hunting when they grow up. When the cubs are older, the mother cheetah teaches them to hunt. She also shows the cubs which predators to avoid. Royal cats. Statues of cheetahs from King Tut's tomb. Cheetahs have lived on Earth for a long, long time. As far back as ancient Egypt, pharaohs kept cheetahs as pets. The famous pharaoh King Tut was buried with many statues of cheetahs. Some ancient Egyptians believed in a cat goddess called Mafdet. Mafdet. They thought Mafdet could protect the pharaohs. Art from ancient Egypt shows cheetahs in statues, on statues, furniture, and in paintings. And this is the golden head of a cheetah found in King Tut's tomb. How does a cheetah greet other animals on the plane? Pleased to eat you. Cheetah talk. Cheetahs make sounds that tell how they're feeling. Cheetahs can't roar like other big cats, but they can purr like a house cat. And then it shows you all the different ways they talk. Bleeding, purring. Bleeding. A cheetah bleats when it's upset. It sounds like a cat's meow. Purring, hissing, chirping. The call sounds like a chirping bird. They chirp when they look for each other. The cheetahs, cheetahs chirp when they look for each other. Churring or stuttering. During social meetings, cheetahs growl with a high pitch that stops and starts. Growling. A cheetah growls when it feels angry or threatened. Saving cheetahs. You need space to run, to jump, and to play, and so do cheetahs. More people and more buildings push cheetahs onto smaller pieces of land. Cheetahs need lots of open space to live, to hunt, and to have babies. Less open space means cheetahs are disappearing. Today, fewer than 12,000 cheetahs live in the wild, but some people are working to save cheetahs, and we are learning more about these big cats. The more we know, the better chance we have to keep cheetahs on Earth. How does a cheetah change its spots? When it gets tired of one spot, it moves to another. And there's the um, dictionary in the back. I hope you enjoyed this book. It was a level two, reading independently. I will see you next time, guys.